May I please your last one second. Yes, one. One second. Start start this proceeding. As you know, cleaning on behalf of the major Virat Industry Association, which is the Asuchev, Kuti Virat, and CI. We have filed applications today morning. Not if the application is not numbered, it is not registered. We'll follow what source for the goods no, and source I, for the I, 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 Mr. Rodi, sorry, no oral mentioning in my court. No, I'm, I, I'm not, not. I'm in the in the matter. I'm saying. I am saying we have no such application on board. Let it be circulated. We'll deal with it in the normal course. But you know, I am respectfully submitting you. Sorry, appearing for big clients, we will not tolerate this. You have to follow the rules in my court. But if you not since they can order today, my application will be in front of. I am saying kindly defer the issue of grant of alpha number. So, Rodi, you are aware of what is proceeding going on? You could have intervened at that stage. What is this after the judgment is passed? You want to intervene now? No, the order is of 15th March. As no, but not, you are aware about the proceedings pending before this court. We were not parties anywhere. Together. We were not parties at any time. Everybody, the whole world knew that this matter was being heard. You know, I have come no... Back. One second, Mr. Vardhi. You come here after the judgment is delivered. You are now... Uh, you, you, you file an application. That's not the way. You know, I have come only in regard to the 15th and... March. Kindly appreciate. No, Mr. I have no problem in Mr. declaration Mr. of the list of donors Mr. or the list of recipients. Mr. Rodney will not hear you right now. We have a specific application to the board. You ask your advocate on record to follow the procedure. So file an email. It will be dealt with by my registrar listing. We will take a... Uh, we'll but, get but no. I am saying no, kindly... Not, if I do it for Mr. Rohatji, senior counsel, no, no, then Mr. Rohatji, <laughs> you look at me. As Chief Justice, I have no face to tell all the other juniors to whom I declined list, uh, mentioning in the morning. What source for the goose is source for the guy? I am not mentioning. I am not appearing in the matter and no, making a submission. Have, we have no such application on board before us. No, I have brought it with I have made my... I have made my... Yeah, but at the end, I have emailed the gentleman... One second. You wait. One at a time. Sorry, Mr. Rabdi. Yes. No, my, Lord, my submission is the entire gentleman has to render behind the back of the public at last. This gentleman Mr. doesn't constitute a city cater. Mr. 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 One second. Yes. One second. The, this one gentleman second. is going. Please listen to me. You are not. One second. I am a citizen of this country. One second. Yes. Don't shout at me. No, no I am very soft. Please listen to me. Yes. This is not a Hyde Park corner uh, meeting, okay? You are in the court. Yes. You want to move an application? No, my Lord. File an application. What I told Mr. Rodhi applies to you. No, my Lord. The question is, my Lord. This There's is, no question uh, you've got. My, my friend has Mr. come. Mr. Nedumbara, one second. Yes. You've got my decision as Chief Justice. We are not hearing you. If you want to file an application, file an application. Move it on the email. That's the rule in this court. No, no further. Lord, we will go by what you are watching. That's all, please. Whatever you are watching. Yes, no, no, my God. Do you want another contempt notice? No, Lord, your worship, we will go by what you are watching. You have to be in Bombay. Only I have said what I wanted to say. That this gentleman is run there behind the back of the people of this country. It doesn't mind us. It doesn't constitute us. It is not a. Do not. Please, once we have said no, please move the application by email. What your lordship says. Do not. Do not continue and persist. Yes. I only said it was not a representative proceeding. You are on the way coming from Kerala. You are obstructing in the administration of justice. Hello, my lord. You are obstructing in the process of administration of justice. The entire gentleman is against. Behind the back of these people, Parliament has been entered. Hey, that's all. That's all. We heard that. Please, that's all. You made it. We will not hear you till you move follow the procedure prescribed. We are filing it. Please do. We are filing it. Please do. We'll consider it afterwards. That's it. My friend came from Kerala. He took a one o'clock flight. Be kind to us. That's all. Please, we will not hear that. Democracy. Please call for the application. Please follow the application. My Lord, may I mention my Lord, my petition for so much of uh, that is pending. Whatever Lordship want to do, that do only. I will not disturb Lordship. Mr. Agarwala, apart from being a senior counsel, you are the president of the SCBA. Yeah. You know the procedure. You have written a letter to me asking me to invoke my so much jurisdiction. Yes, yes, my lord. So, locus to mention so that I should not disturb you lordship. We should not waste it honorable time, court, court's time. Very That's enough. why. Lord, but, uh, but these, are, that. these are all publicity oriented. Of done. We will not permit it. Not a made of, uh, uh, whatever uh, lordship please. will feel better. Mr. Agarwala, please keep it that. I keep it at that. I may have to say something more, which will be perhaps a little distasteful.
ये काइंड टू अस लेटर वी आर वेरी पोलाइट एंड बेगिंग विद योर लॉचिंग ये लॉचिंग जो है इट्स अ सॉफ्ट लाइफ इन पराग वी हैव बीन टेलिंग यू दैट यू आर इंटरफेरिंग यू आर ऑब्स्ट्रक्टिंग अस नो 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 वी शुड गो स्टॉप वी विल हैव टू व्हेन वी आर नॉट हर्ड एंड वी आर वी आर वी फील सर्टेन सर्टेन फॉर योर रिप्लाई फॉलो योर लाइफ यस फॉलो ये टेलिंग नाउ Uh, we should notice on the last occasion to uh, yes. state bank of india uh mr kapoor you are appearing uh, you are appearing i am here i am a salvage also for the state bank that's me yes uh, but i appear for the state bank yes uh, mr salve in yes. our order which we in the in the judgment which we delivered we had expressly asked state bank of india to disclose all details the language of the judgment was all details have to be disclosed uh therefore that includes the bond numbers as well so no, no, I, I let sbi not be selective in the disclosure of details we intend no, no, to I, clarify that it shall disclose all details including the bond numbers and every part of the information which is in its possession and custody don't wait for an order of the court we banked on the fact that the state bank of india would be candid and fair to the court Well, and I just whatever your lordship say, if your lordship say bond numbers, you can disclose the bond numbers. There is uh, no problem. Somebody can screen them. And... Why, why has the uh, why has the SBI not disclosed? Uh, I wanted to, but uh, tell my lord how we understood your lordship's judgment. Give me five minutes only to explain our conduct. Well, of course, if your lordship say give uh, anything more, everything will be given. But there is no question. SBI's attitude appears to be: you tell us to disclose a particular detail, and we'll disclose it. That's not the that's not fair process. Lord, no, how we understood the FBI yeah. requirements. This is the judgment of the Supreme Court. As chairman of the State Bank of India, I am duty bound to comply with the judgment. I will disclose every part of the information which is in my custody, as directed by the Supreme Court. Because when we said all details of the purchases, that means every conceivable detail which is available with State Bank of India, and we clarified by saying including. Uh, that should be. I mean, State Bank of India has the best legal advice. Open to it. May I not take your lordship through the three orders? So how we understood them? Well, Lord, your first, your lordship's first order was twelfth April two thousand nineteen, yeah. and we have, for your convenience, Lord, we have put the uh, three orders together. So your lordship just see that we'll give everything. There's no question. Just to explain that it's not that uh, the impression which is being created, my lord, is that State Bank of India has been playing ducks and drakes with the court. I just wanted to clear that up. If your lordship sees the twelfth April two thousand nineteen order in paragraph sixteen, my lord, I had asked my friend to make a little compilation of the orders so we could show them easily. Your lordship has not. Uh, <coughs> yes, uh, para seventeen, right? Uh, para sixteen, man. Sixteen. You got this? Uh, yes, sir. Yes. Yes. This is the interim order, my lord. Had been pleased yes. to make. After my lord noting all the changes, the court would have to ensure that any interim arrangement that may be made would not tilt the balance in favour of either of the parties. But the same ensures adequate safeguards against the competing claims of the parties which are yet to be adjudicated. In the above perspective, according to us, the just and proper interim direction would be to require. Okay, right. can you just see para fifteen again, this one? Yes. The court therefore has to ensure that any interim arrangement that may be made would not tilt the balance in favour of either of the parties, but the same would ensure adequate safeguards against the competing claims of the parties which are yet to be adjudicated. in the above perspective according to us the just and proper interim direction would be to require all political parties who have received donation through the electoral bonds to submit to the election commission of india and seal cover detailed particulars of the donors against each bond the amount of each such bond and the full particulars of the credit received against each such bond namely the particulars of the bank account to which the amount had been credited and the date of each such credit so my lord your lordship felt this would what would ensure transparency that you give all this but you keep it in a sealed cover 
So a, a political party doesn't need bond number. If a political party comes and says, I have received so much from so and so, that gives the requisite details. Really take it, you're not arguing a case for a political party, right? No, no, no. no. On the contrary, the I'm right? saying the reverse. I'm so sorry, I'm saying the reverse. But uh, if a political uh, party... Uh, 16, Mr. Salve, was relating to the political parties who had to submit the data to the correct case, to the election commission. Correct, and they have, and they, this has they, no. That's a that's a separate issue. They whatever they have declared or not declared, that's a separate issue. But as far as the judgment of this court is concerned, because you were yes. also supposed. To I'm coming in a minute. If your lordship will just give me one minute, how we understood it. Para 16, with, as my lord has therefore noticed, only required the political parties to give all these details. And these details have been given or not. If they have not been given, that's between the ECI and the political parties. We have, I have no, I'm, as my lord, the chief justice said, I'm not preparing for a political party. And my lord, para 17 was the mechanism. Your lordship said detail will be furnished in respect of electoral bonds, the details of bonds that may be received by a political party. Up to a date for Issuing such bonds for the ministry, that is February 19, will be submitted on or before 3rd of May 19. The seal covers will remain in the custody of the ECI. So, I mean, we had no role to play. Your Lordship had put this mechanism in, in place. In your Lordship's judgment, your Lordship's dealt with the diverse aspects, including the need to preserve some degree of anonymity, and your Lordships will not mark that in para 125 where your lordships discuss the electoral trust as an alternative to this system. And in the conclusions, which Manad are at para 218, I think if, it, if your lordships have the compilation, it would be PDF page 76. Yes. Your Lordships will not say we direct the disclosure of information on contribution received by political parties under the electoral bond scheme to give logical and complete effect to the ruling. On 12th April, the court issued an interim direction ordering order directing that the information of donations received from donations to be received must be submitted by political parties. The court directed political parties to submit detailed particulars of donors against each bond, the amount of each bond and the full particulars of the credit received against each bond, namely the particulars of the bank account to which the amount has been credited and the date on which such credit has been made. I am only not saying this to explain how we understood the order. So, this correlation between which political party has received money from whom comes in here. Because the political party says, I have received so much money from so and so. Then it says, during the course of hearing, Mr. Sharma said that the ECI has only collected information uh, on the contribution made in 2019 because of para 14 uh, indicates direction was limited to contributions in that year. We all should then clarify para 13 and 14 of the interim order are extracted below. In the above perspective, according to us, the just and proper interim direction would be to require all political parties who have received donations through electoral bonds to submit to the election commission and seal cover particulars of the donors against each bond the amount of each such bond and the full particulars of the credit received against each bond, namely the particulars of the bank account to which the amount has been credited and the date of each such credit. The details will be furnished forthwith in respect of electoral bonds received by a political party till date. The details of such other bonds that may be received up to the date fixed for issuing such bonds, including February 19, May 19, will be submitted on or before May 19, and the seal covers will remain, etc. Then your lordships clarify, para 14 does not limit the operation of 13. 13 contains a direction in unequivocal terms to political parties to submit particulars of contributions received through electoral bonds to the ECI. Para 14 only prescribes the timeline for the submission on the contribution when the electoral bond should be done. In view of the interim order, the ECI must have collected particulars of contributions made to political parties through electoral bonds. In view of our discussion, the following directions are issued. The issuing bank shall stop issuance of bond, which was done immediately. The SBI shall submit details of the electoral bonds purchased since the interim order by the court till date to the ECI, fully given money. Details shall include the date of purchase of each bond, the name of the purchaser, 
and the purchaser of the bond and the denomination of the electoral bond purchase. All these details are given. SBI shall submit details of the political parties which have received contribution through bond since the interim order till the date of the ECI. SBI must disclose each electoral bond in cash by the political parties, which shall include the date of encashment and the denomination of the bond. Now, as we therefore understood this, the political parties have come and said, we have received so much from so-and-so. Are the details which we will give will make the database complete so that we have the who purchased, when he purchased and when they have got. If the numbers are to be given, we'll give them. There's no problem. So, according to us, the... the Arve, data Mr. Salve, I have a few questions. First, yes. tell us in what format is the data on the purchase and redemption of electoral bonds stored by the SBI? So, Manot, uh, as I had explained the application which we filed, because at that time we were functioning under the edict of anonymity, which had not been stated. So, at that time, we were directed to preserve anonymity, including we had to take measures that within the bank. Format. What is the format in which you yes. maintain the data on purchase and redemption of electoral bonds? In in what format do you store Into it? silos. Your lordship noticed that in the next talk. So the data is maintained in two three silos. Store it in three silos. From your application, it emerges now that you do it in three silos. The first no. silo is the bond number. The bond number is only on the bond. Purchase, and the third is the redemption. Well, not bond number is only on the bond and it is cannot be read except through a under a UV light. That was only done well, not like authentication, like because it's a it was a bearer bond. That's what uh, was sort to be. The purpose sure. of the alpha and second question, what is the purpose of the alpha numeric? The alpha numeric is the bond number which is visible only under a, a, a UV light. Is it only a security feature or is a security it feature entirely in the audit trail? You also no, no, the no, audit trail is separate. That's why we do the we do the entire KYC. In the KYC, we have a bond unique number. It's not the it's not the bond number. You right. have a marker right. number of a client. Third question. Yes. How does the redeeming branch? Yes. How does the redeeming branch yes. match the electoral bond number to determine that it is not a forged bond? So they were not. That's that's what I'm saying. When they received it, the person in cashing it gets it. He sees that it, it's a valid bond because you see the security feature. You don't. You right. don't keep a record of it. The while physical inspection. It, while redeeming it, yeah. the only way you can ensure that it is not a forged bond is to match the alpha numeric. Without There's nothing to match. It's like seeing a currency note. It's like seeing a currency note. You, you like know that's the alpha numeric. Note. Yeah. But just in the last 15 days because it's only valid for 15 days. So, therefore, they will have to also match when was this bond. Well, I think Mr. Bhushan should hold his piece for a minute. Fourth, what is the information that you see when you scan the alpha numeric? Well, do you, you see a number? The details of the purchaser and the bank which issued the bond when you scan the uh, bond? No, no. That's what I'm saying. That correlation was not kept. For the reason, it's like this. Mr. A or Mr. B come and buy the bond. So they go to branch A. They do the entire KYC information is done, their bank account details, etc., etc. Everything is done. That is silo one, if one may so call it for it. This is no fumier orchard. That's been fully disclosed. That bond finds its way into the hands of some political party. We don't know who gives it, how it goes, how many hands it changes, it finds its way in the we get to we next get to see the bond when somebody comes and says Assuming that you construed our order based on the interim order, the interim order merged with the final judgment of our court. But not even in the final judgment. Say that we will interpret our final directions in the light of the interim order, which has merged with the final judgment. But not your lordships. All, all details. That's why we came to my Mr. Salve will clarify to put it beyond any. No, well, no problem. Order. No problem at all. We will. We will say that now. SBI will not only disclose the bond numbers. But it shall also file an affidavit again before our court saying that you have not suppressed any, you have not withhold any details in regard to this uh, within the purview of clause B and C of para 221. Correct. Well, I don't think there's anything else which, uh, which remains. Uh, details, but we'll... you know, you have to disclose all details. Let there be no, because the burden should not lie upon the court or the petitioners who say, but but this one has not been disclosed. But now this has not been disclosed. Now we'll disclose it, Manad, whatever. We'll we must have finality to it. Uh, yes, we'll do it, Manad. There's no problem. Uh, Just that this what? constant, uh, uh, not this, uh, the media constant beating down and the petitioners giving uh, public interviews saying 
we will take the state bank to task and we will show this and we will hold them up for contempt, etc., etc. But we are also public institutions working in this space. And it's all right. You know, people work, people acted on the face of this. Your lordships granted an interim order saying keep records. It wasn't at that time, my lord, I subject to correction. I didn't find any order which says all further actions will be subject to the judgment or something. There was no such direction. Your lordships are at that balancing interim order. Now, whether completely you should lift, lift the privacy or the your lordship said. Mr. Salve, the idea behind the interim order was in case the risk petition is allowed, then yes. data should come out. And that's what exactly is required. Nothing well, more as, I must say so, well, not as out of uh, uh, whatever as my lord, the Chief Justice is saying, a lot of will clarify, we'll give every bit of information, relevant, not relevant, we'll give every bit of information which we have. So that well, not, there should be no feeling that SBI is interested in somehow holding something like that. I only want well, not, to share one thing. One of your Lordship's judgment is uh, one of the leading judgments on the subject on transparency, voters' rights, and balancing democracy, balancing the competing virtues of uh, and trying to minimize the role of money while recognizing the role of money in elections, etc. It goes over a lot of subjects. The one thing that the Lordship's judgment was not meant for, possibly, and not designed for, is to give birth once again to a now dormant PIL industry. Which will go after each industrialist and say, investigate this, investigate this, investigate this, investigate that. And the idea is the voters should know, which is absolutely, and my Lord say, give the bond numbers, we'll give the bond numbers. The voter knowing is one thing. But this as fodder for the next 10 years to have a PILs saying, investigate so and so, investigate so and so. That is, I don't think, the purpose of your Lordship's judgment. That was not what it was meant for. And the Lordship will see whatever safeguards need to be put in place. Just one more Lord, thing. I have two minutes, my Lord, if your Lordship permits. Yes, sir. At the outset, my Lord, on behalf of the state, the central government, I completely disassociate myself with what Dr. Agrawala has written. It is completely unwarranted and ill-advised. I, I want that to be made very clear, my Lord, on behalf of the central government. Now, my lord, I have something to share, and I have been watching this very painfully, my lord, outside the court. My lord, your lordships sit in kind of a silos. Your lordships are, my lord, in an ivory tower, not, my lord, in a negative sense of the term. But what we know here, my lord, your lordships never come to know. The way in which your lordship's judgment is playing out, my lord, something your lordships must, my lord, be informed as highest court of the country. But what has happened? My lord, our case was that we want to curb the black money. Uh, a, a criminal may have paid the donation, but ultimately the donation comes in the white economy and we could not persuade your lordships. Not your lordships passed in judgment. Not every one of us understood the judgment and the directions in a particular way. That what your lordship wants is not. My lord, kind of a witch hunting. Earlier, my lord, our case was that witch hunting would be by the political parties. If A party is given, B party in some other state might victimize the donor. Now, my lord, the witch hunting has started, my lord, uh, at, at some other level, my lord, not at the governmental level. The application comes of the SPI before your lordships on 11th of uh, this month, my lord, and your lordships also, my lord, that's how, my lord, we understood, clarified the position. But most serious things, my lord, start happening thereafter. Lord, those before the court started giving press interviews, deliberately embarrassing the courts. My Lord, and there is Lord a non-level playing field. My Lord, on this side, nobody can rebut that. Neither government can do, nor state can bend, state bank can do. Nobody else can do. Thereafter, my Lord, a series, a barrage of social media posts, my Lord, for, my Lord, at least intended to cause embarrassment started during these days, two days. And thereafter, my Lord, now it's anybody's field. It's an open field. My Lord, statistics, your Lordships are aware, can be twisted in any manner the person wants. It's a matter of, my Lord, intelligence of the reader to understand. Now, my Lord, based upon the twisted and other statistics, my Lord, any kind of, uh, my Lord, uh, posts are being made, made. I know, my Lord, your Lordships cannot control that. The question is, would your lordships consider issuing a direction which has 
अननेसेसरी एंड इनविटेबल फॉल आउट विच द कोर्ट वुड नॉट बी एबल टू कंट्रोल लॉट दैट सेइंग मिस्टर रोहतगी गेव दिस मनी टू दिस देन दे दे हैव देयर ओन कंक्लूजन नेसेसरी टू केयर दे आर ओनली कंसर्नड अबाउट एनफोर्सिंग द डायरेक्शन व्हिच वी इशूड इन क्लॉजेस बी एंड सी ऑफ पैरा 221 दैट्स एज जजेस as judges we decide according to the constitution correct one we are governed by the rule of law we are also the subject matter of comment in the social media and the press but surely as an institution our shoulders are broad enough no no i am saying i am not not for a second court has an institutional role to play in a polity which is governed by the constitution the rule of law that's the only job lot i am my purpose is to inform your lordships that there is something else playing out which neither your lordships intended nor the scheme intended and my lord kindly bear that fact in mind on 11th of march my lord we thought that we are ad item that this information would help the voter to take a call whether to vote in favor of a particular party or not my lord thereafter this started in a very systemic already right. रीजन No, Mr. Rajiv, we don't need any assistance at all. We are clear. We had, we had very able assistance on both sides. We don't need any third party assistance. I meant the last. I didn't get the proper assistance. So just one. That grievance of those who will now be doing that who have a party, who have been doing B party, that will be caused for side to side. Just one more, one more you know, verification. We gave. to the government and uh, rescue one simple answer yes sir. with effect from the 12th of april 2019 when we directed the collection of all details everybody was put on notice that hereafter the details which you furnish would be subject to the results of petition therefore in drawing the balance we did not ask for the disclosure of details prior to the interim order of the court and, and that was a very conscious and well thought out decision of the constitution bench was it the intention of the court to know which man paid where so that if he pays a party he will be subject to dismissal answer, answer is yes answer is yes. answer is yes lord only one line my lord one, one, one only one line my lord uh, mr uh, bhushan me my lord now hold his order pursuant to your yes lord. done my lord uh, substantial assistance i don't have to formally disassociate myself with today's mentioning <laughs> that my disassociate disassociating from mr agarwal doesn't mean that i am the solicitor irrespective of the do you know the, the, yes, the, yeah, the I, I, we, but maybe we, we, as we, must, we must just tell you that we respect this very responsible uh, approach which the solicitor general has adopted of uh, because you know clients apart who you are representing apart it is really painful my lord when the people so, before the court start my lord a media for, campaign for to embarrass that. the judges thank you for it, saying it, that you very don't very much for the mention well thank you for saying that you don't associate because there the is no level playing field i can't hold a press conference so uh, uh, only, only grievance is that it was not a justiciable issue the yeah, solicitor general did not raise it it is not a matter of pure policy i read the entire judgment it was entirely a policy issue it is not justiciable at all that's all i want to say the people of this country feel that a decision was taken behind their back when the parliament decides they were present in the parliament it is with their consent when your lordship decides we are last order the uh, the election commission has put out the sealed covers that, but that's very interesting that those sealed covers show that some of the smaller parties have disclosed the donors we don't have to go into uh, no, all that because, uh, that's because, not our remit at all no no i yes, uh, we what has happened after the judgment is not something we are concerned not after at the all. judgment what i'm saying no so what i'm saying is this that since the order of the very recently i was asked about my about a critique on a judgment and did not mention no, which no. judgment and i said that look it's no part of the role of a judge needs to follow up a constitutional court or even a civil judge to defend their views once we declare a judgment it becomes public property is the property of the notion if there is the property of the nation and no, uh, i was only saying that your lordship's interim order of april 
asked the political parties to disclose the name of the donor. The information given by the political parties to the election commission, only a few of the political parties, the smaller politi regional political parties, some of them, have, dis have disclosed the He is not addressing your lordships, he is addressing somewhere else. See, Kindly hear him for some time. So then it comes forward in the newspaper amazing. tomorrow. See, Mr. Prush Prashant Bhushan amazing. vehemently said this. Amazing. That's the purpose. Unfortunately, public interest litigation has now become publicity interest litigation. It is publicity interest litigation. I, it is, my lord, there are some hidden agenda. Some there is not a doubt, my lord, and I am not, my lord, apologetic in things. I am, I am, I am astonished. And, lord, that, is, that is the matter of greatest concern because judgments given, my lord, for high constitutional principles then are used for people, uh, purposes other than what they are delivered. Unfortunately, so, in your lordship's okay. majesty, so, so would I not know what, what are the hidden agendas behind. This is dictated short order. I, I think, just you know, point we are out that really expanding upon because, the remit. Because, of because the major political parties have yes, not disclosed the donor. Just give us two minutes to Therefore, so we'll therefore what all, all that I am requesting is that the disclosure of the details of the bonds should actually start from the beginning of the issue of the bonds, not just from the interim order because uh, this is leading to a second, situation. One second, we got the point. You filed an application on that. In our order, they have filed an application. Just, well, just one minute. Do it in a very cool and calm atmosphere. It's a constitutional adjudication. Yes, right? We, you know, in our interim order, we said that the disclosure shall be made with effect from the date of the interim order, yes. 12th of April 2019. Yes. Right or wrong, we have taken a conscious decision that the cutoff will be the date of our interim order. And we, we also explain why we took that date. We said after that date, of course, the Constitution bench has an op ha has an option to go all the way back from the date of the bond or from the date of the judgment. Some place via media, some via media in between. We took 12th of April 2019 because it was our considered view of all of us five that once that interim order was pronounced, everybody was on notice. What we told Mr. Rothke. Now we have maintained that if you want that to go back to 2018, that's in the nature of a review of the judgment. So the only reason why I'm saying that, modify that date. No, the only reason because your lordship asked the uh, political parties to give donor details to the election commission prior to that interim order, and some of while some of the political parties have given donor details. Other political parties have not given donor details. The major political parties have not given donor details. And one political party, which is in power in one of the states, says, if somebody came and left it under our door, 10 crores of electoral bonds was left under our door, we don't know who it was. So therefore, I am saying that because this is leading to a situation, though your lordship asked the political parties to disclose donor details by that interim order, only some political parties. We have understood that argument, yes. but we, what we are directing once the, the numbers are given, it will sort out a lot of problems. A lot oh, of your issues. Will but for that period of uh, 2018 till oh, April, we are not sitting in a review. We have taken a constitutional. We, we are we are faced with a situation issue. where the Mr. Mr. Bushin, this will really be a substantive, substantive modification of the judgment. We can't do it like this in a miscellaneous application. No. And in the light of the disclosure which has come to light of the political parties, that's why I'm saying. And this is not a if the political parties had disclosed the donor uh, details, this would not be required. Draw the line somewhere. We had to hold the balance. We held the balance ultimately. As your lordship pleases, but I just can I can I just add one thing? Lordship said all the details. Lordship may consider, my lord. I have pointed out that six details may be necessary, my lord. One is the serial number because they say 28,030 bonds have been issued. The second would be the date. One second. When you say seal number, you mean the alphanumeric, Total right? Total number of bonds issued are 28,030. I'm not saying... I'll... When a lordship said all details, not in my respectful submission, it will be... Mr. Sarve has been... No, lord, just, just, uh, lordship, just permit me a minute. Sarve has fairly said it that he will... Uh, no, lord. All, all the details, no, lord. why? why yes, yes, sir. No, my lord, if I can just... Show, and they are all already disclosed. What your lordship would say, my lord. I'm just pointing out what details can be there. First is serial number. Second is the date. The third would be alphanumerical number. Fourth column would be name of the donor. Fifth column would be the name of a political party. And sixth column would be the amount. Well, this will cover all the details, not in my respectful submission. Well, this, this, is, this is now asking us to sit down and collate one. And this is a commission made to the court. 
just like mr salve made a submission to the court i'm making yeah, we need very well i'm, I'm leaving a submission to the court mr salve can no, uh, asking the us to do whatever look i can permit the my lord the judge to declare the order now at least no. secondly my lord the lordship said lordship has seen that i am not i filed that i am for a previous order if lordship have taken a conscious decision on that aspect of the matter my lord lordship may say my lord because the order said my lord the voters are entitled to know for the for as a right of information if a lordship have taken a conscious decision on that matter my lord it will be from 12th of april only because we said my lord it should be my lord otherwise logically once the right to know my lord is inbuilt in the system uh, in right to know of the voters so that, sorry that, i very well i leave it at that and there is a specific call. direction with effect from 12th april then your lordship say my lord i will not press the application so bujan there will be no end to it I, I what is the IA number, Mr. Ansaria? Di just one second, Mr. Ansaria. IA number which you are not pressing is IA number. Diary number one two five eight zero twenty twenty two. This is MA number. MA diary number. So that you are not pressing. Yes, sir. Just, just one. Just say MA diary number five eight zero two thousand and twenty four. Uh, Mr. Vijay Ansaria, then it's in a council appearing on behalf of the applicant. If after some submissions at the bar. That the Muslim application is not yours. In view of Lord, whatever proceedings have gone to the court. In view of the proceedings, we put it in view of what. Lord, if a lot, you can say that. Otherwise, <laughs> in view of what? <laughs> in view, we'll say in view of the specific directions contained in paragraph two hundred in in paragraph two hundred and nineteen bracket B and C of the judgment of this court dated fifteen February two thousand and twenty. So, just one fact by way of information. Enough of assistance by this public spirited person, Malod. The lordships doesn't need any any further assistance. The details of the number of bonds shown by the uh, in the data. He is gathering the details for a future PIL, Malod. So that remains in. Uh, He remains relevant. Now, now, please permit me. Why not the chief minister to declare the order? Heard everybody, Mr. I was just pointing out that there is a huge mismatch between the number of bonds purchased and the number of bonds and cash in the data submitted by the state bank to the election commission. They are showing eighteen thousand eight seventy one bonds purchased, but showing twenty thousand four twenty one bonds redeemed. The total amount of bonds purchased is twelve thousand one fifty five crores. And the amount redeemed is twelve thousand seven sixty nine crores. That is five hundred and fifty crores more than what were purchased. Now the explanation for this could be because the data is from twelfth April. At that time, the bond purchase was was going on on twelfth April twenty nineteen. It was going on. It what is possible is that some of these bonds were purchased prior to twelfth April twenty nineteen, but redeemed after twelfth. April 2019, and that is why there is a mismatch. But I just wanted to point out there is a very large mismatch. There is no matter. These figures are not authentic. I have given the authentic. Ten thousand versus sponsored NGOs are, my lord, fudging the figures and bringing their own. My lord, uh, your lordships are aware there is a beautiful, uh, my lord, uh, uh, quotation by Einstein that some people use statistics like a drunken man uses lamp posts. More for support than for illumination. I'm just showing the number. I'm saying that eighteen thousand. This is what that. happens. Okay, when we'll now leave it at that. Uh, leave it. Those okay. numbers are not right. Since you know, because all this is going to play out, the numbers are not right. The corrected numbers were okay. not given in our application. वो अलग और बात कर देंगे. इसमें एमए में ऐसा लिख दीजिए कि जब तक आप बी एंड सी ऑफ Paragraph 221 of the judgment of this court dated 15 February 2024. Come on. Uh, the direction to the SBI to submit detail of bracket one, the electoral bonds purchased, semicolon, and bracket T two, uh, political parties which have received contributions through electoral bonds. Is specifically since the date of the interim order dated twelfth April two thousand and nineteen. It's not in other words, uh, all details which have been directed to be furnished in the operative directions of this court are with reference to the interim order. Uh, are on the basis uh, uh, don't say on the basis of are with effect from the date of the interim order, namely twelfth April two thousand and nineteen. Full stop. The relief which has been sought in the MA 
for predating the uh, dis- the the point of disclosure uh, would amount to a substantive modification of the judgment and hence cannot be dealt with in a miscellaneous application the stop the miscellaneous application is therefore not maintainable and is accordingly dismissed i want i want one more relief to prevent another round of contempt proceedings would your lordship just for a minute have my affidavit in compliance for what is it that you want to work yes. classification mara there was when when we gave your lordship that's why i can see all this uh, story has started when we gave your lordship the original figure of 22217 bonds we had by mistake that was from 1st of april not on 12th of april if your lordship just sees para 4 and mara everything will be over because i know where this is going when mr bushan is going please see para 4 of my compliance affidavit for one second yes And your and please, I I would invite your lordship to say your lordship to accept this. We have given the figures, my lord. There is no mismatch. There is nothing of the sort. The total, if your lordship sees the table, we are not going to all that. I mean, no, no, no. That the, I have to I have to convince my lord. I have complied with the order. I am just saying. It's a compliance affidavit. It's a compliance have, affidavit of your chairman and managing director. We just say we have accepted that. Uh, please say your lordship have accepted our compliance affidavit. That will put an end to all this. by the judgment of this court dated 15 february 2024 comma this court directed into invert comma directed at uh, this court court directed into invert comma the disclosure of information on contributions received by political parties under the electoral bond scheme to give logical and complete effect to invert commas complete to the ruling full stop there are in paragraph 219 this court issued operative directions look for these directions in sub paragraph b and c are in two parts full stop sub para b requires sbi to submit details of the electoral bonds purchased since the interim order Dated twelfth April two thousand and nineteen, in preferred format, till date to the ECI in preferred format complete. Such details, our mother court has indicated in preferred format, shall include the date of purchase of each electoral bond, the name of the purchaser of the bond, and the denomination of the electoral bond purchased in preferred format complete. In the second part of the operative direction in subpara C. comma sbi was required to introvert to submit introvert commas the details of political parties which have received contributions to electoral bonds introvert commas complete till since the interim order date since the interim order dated 12 april 2019 till date to eci full stop sbi was required to disclose details of each introvert underline each electoral bond in cash by political parties and to include which to and to include inclusive of the date of encashment and the denomination of the electoral bond full stop the above narration in the plain reading of paragraph 219 of the judgment dated 15 february 2024 indicates that the that sbi was required to submit all details both in terms of the purchase and in terms of the receipt of contributions full stop the expression in, to invert commas including include in both sub paragraphs b and c uh, clearly demonstrate that the inclusive part was regarded as illustrative and not exhaustive of the nature of the disclosure which was to be made by sbi it's not in in other words comma we now there is no manner of doubt that sbi is required to make uh, a complete disclosure of all details in its possession it's not this we clarify will include the this uh, we shall this we clarify would comprehend the alphanumeric alphanumeric a uh, number of and the serial number if any of the bonds which were purchased and redeemed full stop uh 
the application this was on your application i think you had uh, moved this no the application was by the, the app Hmm? Oh yeah, we had this. Uh, Mr. Harisha, which I must Harisha and Salve, Lennon Senior Council states that uh, there is no reservation on the part of SBI in disclosing all details which are in its possession and custody. Full stop. In order to fully effectuate the order and to obviate any controversy in the future, we direct that the chairman and managing director of SBI shall file uh, an affidavit uh, on or before 5 p.m. on Wednesday. Uh, date Dalbo. Could we have one more day, one Thursday? Stating. Yes, that's certainly. Uh, 5 p.m. on Thursday, uh, indicating that SBI has disclosed all details of the electoral bonds which were in its possession and custody, and that no details uh, have been withheld uh, from disclosure. Good stuff. In, in, to the election commission or in terms of the directions contained in paragraph 221. Your Lordship may indicate the date when it will be uploaded by the election, election commission. commission. Uh, election, the election commission shall upload the details forthwith on the communication by SBI. My Lord, sir, I had directed my Lord, the senior official of the bank to remain present. My Lord, the deputy manager and director and chief general manager are present at the presence of the presence. हमारे चैनल बहुजन दस्तक को लाइक शेयर सब्सक्राइब देखना मत भूलिएगा जय हिंद जय भारत जय संविधान नमो बुद्धा है धन्यवाद चैनल आर्थिक समस्या से गुजर रहा है अगर आप बहुजन समाज में बाबा साहेब अम्बेडकर और तथागत बुद्ध की विचारधारा को अधिक से अधिक लोगों तक पहुंचाना चाहते हैं तो हमें आर्थिक सहयोग प्रदान करें ताकि हम अपने चैनल के माध्यम से देश विदेश में समता बंधुता एकता और संवैधानिक अधिकारों को ज्यादा से ज्यादा लोगों तक पहुंचा सके आप अपनी सहायता राशि नीचे लिखे खाते में जमा करा सकते हैं खाताधारक गौतम रत्ना खाता संख्या तीन एक छ नौ पांच सात छ आठ छ पांच एक आई एफ एस सी कोड एस बी आई एन शून्य शून्य छ शून्य तीन तीन छ बैंक भारतीय स्टेट बैंक आप हमारे बैंक खाते का विवरण स्क्रीन पर भी देख सकते हैं मैं गौतम रत्ना आपका बहुजन फिल्म प्रोडक्शन में स्वागत करता हूं और आप हमारे प्रोडक्शन हाउस के अंदर अपना कैरियर बना सकते हैं एज ए फिल्म डायरेक्टर एज ए प्रोड्यूसर एंड एक्टर एंड एक्ट्रेस एंड एडिटर एंड सिनेमाटोग्राफर ऑल्सो अगर आपको फिल्म से रिलेटेड कुछ भी प्रोजेक्ट आपको बनवाना है तो हमारे पास में पूरा सेटअप है जिसमें फिल्म कैमरा है शूटिंग लाइट्स है और एडिटिंग है सारा ए टू जेड एक ही जगह पर आपको हमारे यहाँ पर मिल जाएगा तो दोस्तों आप हमें कांटेक्ट कर सकते हैं हमारे नंबर्स पर नाइन एट वन डबल जीरो एट फाइव सेवन वन फोर और एट फाइव वन ट्रिपल जीरो फाइव सेवन वन फोर हमारे वेबसाइट पर विजिट कर सकते हैं डब्ल्यू और हमें मेल भी कर सकते हैं गौतम पर धन्यवाद